Yo, what is up, you two, man? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Just Blaze Plays. We're not going to talk too much because we got to get a lot of stuff out the way. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the post notifications. You don't miss a video from me. And be a part of the Blaze Gang. You feel me? Hashtag road to 20K does not stop to begin the game, boys. It does not stop. Last night, my boys. Last night was a very interesting night for all my homies in the 2K community still. Mike Wayne gave us a bunch of news about NBA 2K22. Yes, you heard it here first. The game that has been taking the longest so for us to hear news from, we haven't heard anything. They finally dropped some news. I'm going to get to everything Mike Wayne said on Twitter last night. And this is around like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning where he just announced the news. They dropped the 2K TV episode, and Mike Wang was basically throwing some hints and explaining what 2K22 is gonna be like. Not all the way, but he gave us a little bit of hint on the game. Now, one tweet that Mike Wang put out, and this is honestly a very good tweet, and it, honestly, it answers our questions about the season. Yes, if you didn't know already, seasons are coming out for NBA 2K22. So Mike Wang tweets, new seasonal animation content drops are for my players only not NBA players. The goal is to keep the game fresh all year long and encourage players to use signature moves that they otherwise may not have. Don't worry, there will still be a ton of variety to choose from at launch. So, basically what Mike Wang is saying in that tweet, when the season comes, like when the game drops and everything and the seasons are live, there will be certain points where there will be exclusive animations that release in NBA 2K22. As far as like any other game with a battle pass or like an item shop, like Fortnite almost. If there's if there's an item that drops a certain amount of hours for you to get it and then it goes away after that. For 2K, that is a W idea in my opinion. It keeps the game fresh. It gives us something new to work with. Honestly, it, and it's not going to be the same thing every time so that everyone's going to be playing the same. 2K, that was a W idea right there. That was a W idea. I, I enjoy that idea. And... Honestly, I hope when the game drops, it is what they say it is, and it's actually, you know what I'm saying, it actually impacts the game, and it impacts certain players who all play the same. I hope it makes everyone want to play different when these new signature styles come out for a short period of time. Now, another thing that someone said to Mike Wayne last night, and this is honestly something that we all get worried about. We, this is one thing in 2K, this can't. This was in 2K20 and 2K21, the one thing that we didn't like as much about the game, and honestly, Mike Wayne just saved us all right here. So basically, this tweet says, can you please let us stay 99 after all the hard work we put in? Instead of losing our 99 stats, if you lose a game, some of us don't have squads and play with randoms. And Mike Wayne said, you won't lose 99 this year. That is a W. W tweet. You will not be able to lose your 99 overall this year, y'all. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> if you think okay, I don't know if it's real or not, but if Mike Wayne's saying it, then I have no choice but to believe it. So we're not we're not gonna lose our 99 this year. So when we hit 99 on a player, it's maxed out and that's it. We would have to worry about losing a game and losing our 99. No, it stays. So that is a W. Now, another thing that someone said. What's most important is us using is us using the controller. If y'all hear that car in the background, my bad. I'm not in my correct setup right now. You know what I'm saying? So if it sounds a little echoey, just let me know. But what's most important is us using the controller. Will the muscle memory of dribbling be the same, or will we have to learn how to dribble again? Mike Wayne tweets: Dribble is dribbling is probably closer to 20 than 21 control wise. Holding the pro stick always shoots like 20, but there are new moves and commas you're going to want to learn. If I'm not capping, this man literally just said that the dribbling is going to be somewhat like 20. That is a W. 20 dribbling wasn't even that bad. Just we needed more drip, like more combos in 20 to make the dribbling probably the best possible dribbling we could have ever had. 20 had potential to be the best 2K for dribbling, on, in my opinion. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below, actually. What 2K do y'all think had the best dribbling? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to see y'all opinions. But... In my opinion, 20 had big potential if they had more combos to be the best dribbling 2K out. Also, for the last tweet, and this is what someone said in on Twitter last night. Someone said, how different is current from next gen? Mike Wayne says, current and next gen are much more similar on court this year compared to last year. So in all honesty, there's not going to be very much differences with both games. 
gameplay from what it looks like in that tweet gameplay will be the same and i don't know if that's a w or l but we're just got to find out in the future if you guys want to see, hear more news about what mike wayne talked about on twitter last night let me know in the comments down below and leave a like on this video i know this is kind of short but i had to get the important stuff out the way just so you guys can know and also shot aiming is not going to be in 22 for all them zans you're done but that's the end of the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and turn on the post notice so you don't miss a video from me my boys just place plays y'all know what i'm about to say man i'm out deuces